Hi, this is Coach David Halal. Um, a great example of the mind. A great example of the mind. You know, I was uh, stuck in traffic a few minutes earlier, and um, there was a, a, a you know an accident, you know, which is not unusual at all. Uh, but what was unusual, at least for me, I had never seen that until this morning, is that, um, you know, uh, there was like a big, huge tractor, you know, one of those big, like a bulldozer, you know, one of those big trucks that, you know, for constructions and, and that big, huge tractor was pulling another trailer, big trailer. Um, so, of course, you know, it was huge and everybody's looking at it because, you know, on 285, it's, we've seen that, we've seen big trucks before, but never a big truck pulling a trailer, you know, a trailer. But what was really unusual is that when the, you know, within, uh, in the traffic, this, the door of the uh, truck opens up. And it was a little person, uh, you know, correct, uh, uh, to correct myself, I guess, instead of saying a uh, little person, I could say a midget, which is, of course, uh, I heard you're not supposed to say that, but it was a little person, maybe uh, three, nine, maybe four feet tall. <laughs> Uh, probably you know shorter than that but he he was the one driving that big truck put my seatbelt on he was the one driving the big huge tr truck pulling the trailer and not only that he had two knee braces and he came out with his sunglasses very proud you know, I'm sure he loved his job. And not only that, but knowing that people would be shocked to see such a little person. He was really tiny, people, really tiny. And he came out of the truck and he's the one riding, he's the one driving. I couldn't believe it. And it struck me, it struck me really hard that if this little guy can drive or direct this big huge truck pulling a trailer I'm sure he probably you know fix the seat or put pillows on the seat so he can see but think about the power of your mind because your mind is kind of like the same thing you know the power of your mind connecting to your brain or within your brain your brain is not you know maybe uh, three pounds uh, four pounds and this guy is pulling this big big huge humongous colossal truck you know so the power of you know the, your brain is small your mind you can see it but the power of it conducting driving riding giving direction to your soul, to your body. It's incredible, it's wonderful. So don't see yourself as saying, well, I am this skin color, I am this height, I am this gender. This is my sexual orientation. Uh, I have this accent. You know, people say your eyes are too big. Your eyes are too small, your eyes are too green, too dark, too brown. Your skin is weird. You might be having skin problem. You might have cancer. But that shit does not matter at all. You have the power to do whatever you want. God has blessed you with such a gift that I've, I remember saying that before, that the gods, they are jealous, they envious of your skills, of every moment. The the, 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 what can happen, how you can change your life. Life, you know, is made out of moment, instance of joy and peace and love and anger and accidents and 
you know, coincidence, which I don't really believe in. I don't believe in coincidence, but some people do. You know, everything happens for a reason. People come in and out of your life to teach you, to strengthen you, to clean you, to wash you, to buff you, you know, buff you up like a diamond in the rough, to clean you in water, making sure you bright, you become, you, you bright, you, you shine, so your brightness can be shown. Don't, do not allow anything to stop you from becoming, or anyone to stop you from becoming who you're supposed to become. You know, this little guy riding, driving, you know, this big, you know, tons of steel and mechanical parts, electrical parts, he's in charge of it. The same way you are also in charge of your mind, you are also in charge of your life. Don't blame other people for your fuck ups. Don't play, blame other people for your mistakes. Learn from your mistakes. Without your mistakes, you wouldn't be who you are. You wouldn't become as strong, as powerful, as bright. You know, when you take a test, you fail it. Take it again. Don't stay on the ground. I remember being young uh, in Haiti, learning the story about this king who failed and failed and failed. Every time he goes to war, he will fail. He would lose the war. He would lose the battle, multiple battles. And one day he's like, you know what, forget it. I ain't gonna fight no more because I'm gonna give up. And as he laying down there, he's watching a little spider building its nest and keep falling out of the web, you know, keep breaking. And the spider built again, eight times, nine times, 10 times, 11 times, the spider fell, you know, climbed up again in its web and rebuilt again. And I don't know, maybe 13, 14 times, 15 times, 20 times, does not matter, 100 times, the spider fell and rebuilt. And then the spider became successful because he was able to build his nest or its nest or its web, you know, to live in its house where it can dwell and, and rest. And the king said, well, if this little spider can fail again and have the courage to get up and do it again, so can I. So he got up and went to war and went to battle again and became successful and won this time. Because all it takes is one victory and you'll forget about most of your failure. The taste of victory, my friends. So don't let nothing stop you. If I can learn from this, if we can learn, you and I can learn from this little guy riding and driving this truck, this trailer, you know, being successful. And he couldn't do that if he did not have his CDL license. You know, professional driver, right? You know, professional uh, driver license. You know, in order for him to pass it, I'm sure some people laughed at him. His family members might have said, you can't do it. What are you doing? Don't do that. How are you going to, you're going to get into accident. Your knees are not even good. Maybe he had polio on, on, on top of that because the knee, two knee braces indicates that he had some kind of you know, paralysis. he has some kind of paralysis. He had some kind of disease that mess up his knee. And, and, and genetically, you know, speaking, the, you know, mother nature, God did not decide to give him great heights, you know, make him tall, or, you know, make him, you know, what you would call, uh, you know, a handsome, potent, you know, physical man, but he's potent in his mind. So he became successful. So let's learn from that. This is coach David Halal, fearlessly, and passionately pursuing his core and his destiny. Don't forget to subscribe, like my videos, and share. Bye-bye. Peace.